Hi boys and girls, happy pajama day. I'm here rocking my pajamas. I've got my nice snuggly blanket. I'm also calling it a EBF spirit day. Got my rocket sweatshirt, my sweatpants, and my slippers. And I'm gonna tell you a really quick, uh, funny story about these slippers. So one time, Emmerich and I were going to the library. We were going to listen to this talk about the Red Rock Dam and how they'd been building it and the water power and everything. So, you know, we get in the car, we drive down to the library, we get out, we go in, we sit down, and I look down at my feet, and lo and behold, this is what I'm wearing. And I was like, oh my goodness, I just wore my slippers to the library. So now every time I do something silly or if I try to make fun of Emmerich in any way, he says, oh, hey mom, remember that time you wore your slippers to the library? And then I have to give him a little flick on the ear for that one. So anyway, um, again, happy pajama day. Now let's be honest. I'm sure you've probably had one or more pajama days already since we've been out of school. R raise your hand, be honest, come on. I know, I know that there have probably been some days where we haven't really wanted to get out of our pajamas where we've been wearing our sweats and our sweatshirts and just being comfy. So in honor of pajama day, I am going to read a book that is probably a little bit young for some of you, but you could also show this to younger brothers or sisters if you have them. Um, um, and you can just enjoy it because it's fun to read stories that we've already heard. So we have got Llama Llama Red Pajama. Uh, Abraham loves the Llama Llama stories, every single one of them. So this is one that we read a lot along with all the other ones too. So Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna Dudney. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. Llama Llama red pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. Llama Llama red pajama calls down to his Llama Mama. Mama says she'll be up soon. Baby Llama hums a tune. Llama Llama Red Pajama waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby Llama starts to fret. Fret means to be a little bit worried. Maybe whine a little bit. Llama Llama Red Pajama whimpers softly for his mama. Baby Llama starts to moan. Mama Llama hears the phone. Ma Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quiet for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Ooh. You know anybody that's like that at bedtime? Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. What if Mama Llama's gone? Llama Llama Red Pajama weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run. Medved has decided to join us. <gasps> so here comes Mama. Oh no, she runs upstairs. Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes Mama's very busy. Please stop all this Llama drama and be patient for your Mama. Little llama, don't you know, Mama Llama loves you so. Mama Llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Llama Llama Red Pajama gets two kisses from his mama. 
Snuggles pillow, soft and deep. La baby llama goes to sleep. So, llama llama red pajama. Again, I know it's a little bit of a young story, but it's kind of fun since it's pajama day. So, that one's done. I've actually got three stories for you today because they're a little bit shorter, so I thought I could do a little bit more. This one's called The Napping House, since usually when we're wearing our pajamas, we are going to sleep. So I thought I could read a little story about going to sleep, just like Medved is now kind of going to sleep on my lap. So if my arm bumps, it's his fault. Blame it on the cat. That's what I always say. So this is called The Napping House, and it's by Aubrey, Audrey Wood, and the illustrations are by Don Wood. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. There's the house. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. And in that bed, and on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. I really like the illustrations for this story. And on that granny, there is a child, a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that dog, there is a cat, a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And on that mouth or, mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea? On a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Oh, and you have to look really closely, but there's the flea. They kind of show almost glowing on the mouse's back. A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. And then look, the mouse goes, wah! Who scares the cat. Oh, look at the cat. <laughs> who claws the dog. <laughs> who thumps the child. Who bumps the granny? Who breaks the bed? Oh my goodness. In a napping house where no one now is sleeping. Everybody's up and awake. So that was the napping house. Now, when you read that, and each time it was kind of building on, first there was the granny, then the child, then the dog, and we were going through, it kind of reminded me of when we read um, when a mosquito buzz in people's ears, right? And how each one was blaming, each creature was blaming what had happened on another creature. And then finally it got all down to the mosquito and it was all the mosquito's fault. So that kind of, I had a connection between the story and that one. And the last one, because I miss you guys so much and I wish we could be together and because I love you, I'm going to read you a story called The I Love You Book by Todd Parr. Now his books are super cute, super fun, really bright colorful illustrations and so I have several of these too. But this one's called The I Love You Book. I love you or when you, I love you when you are silly, I'm playing peekaboo, 
I love you when you are sad. I love you when you are scared. I love you when you are brave. I love you when I am away. I love you when we are cuddled up close. I love you when you sleep. I love you when you don't sleep. Although, I love it when you sleep. Well, that's what I tell my kids. Because when they don't sleep, it's not so much fun. I love you when we dance. I love you when we stroll. Dancing and strolling, two things we can do inside. Well, or strolling, maybe outside. I love you when you are sick. I love you when you feel better. I love you when you give me kisses. I love you when you need hugs. That's one thing I miss about you guys is your hugs and your waves and your fist bumps and your high fives. I love you when you share. I love you when you are shy. I love you when you hide my keys. I love you when you find new friends. One time when Emmerich was young, I lost my keys and I found them in my snow boot. Hmm, who put them there? I love you when you are stinky. I love you when you are squeaky clean. I love you when we cook. I love you when we eat. How many of you help mom or dad cook at home? Probably more than I help my husband cook at home. I love you when you walk. I love you when we roll. Most of all, I love you just the way you are. We all need to be loved. There's enough love for everyone to share. Remember to always love yourself. Love, Todd. So, just for you, because I love you, there is the I Love You book. So, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, okay? Medved says goodbye. Um, remember, I love you. Be safe. Wash your hands. And I hope that I will get to see you soon. So I love you all. And I'll see you next week.